Hey everyone, guess what? I'm back and ready to do some new videos. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I've done one, but I have some time now and I thought this was going to be the perfect time because we have a brand new release of Catsnip that just came out at the beginning of the year. And what I want to do is spend some time uh, with the next few videos going through some of the brand new features in the R12 release of Catsnip and just talk about them a little bit, how they work, how they function, and how you can make use of them. So today, what we're gonna do in this video is talk about just one of the brand new features. And it's something that's sort of been in the viewer for a while, but it hasn't functioned. And it's on our Quick Preferences floater, and it's something that's called Quick Inventory. And Quick Inventory is a great feature if you use a mesh body or if you role play or if you just have things that you want to be able to quickly swap in and out while you're out and about and exploring the world. Uh, and so let's take a look at how this works because it really makes a lot more sense when you can see it in action. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my quick preferences floater. Now you probably will have a button on your toolbar. It looks like a little wrench. If you don't, you can do a control shift P on your keyboard and that's going to bring up your quick preferences floater. And I think I've talked about this a little bit before, uh, some of these buttons, but what we're going to focus on today is this third button. It's this little suitcase. And this is our quick inventory. And as you can see right now, it's got uh, a few things that are listed in there, uh, a top and some shorts and some shoes and some hair. And um, we're gonna talk about why this is here and how this works. Basically, what we're looking at here is a folder in our inventory. Uh, it can be a folder of items, it can be a folder of shortcuts or links, it doesn't matter. But what we're looking at is, is a collection of items that we want to very quickly get to without having to dig through our inventory to find them. And I think really the best use of this is for all of those sort of random HUDs that we want to attach and detach throughout the day. Uh, you've probably seen the warnings in your viewer about particular HUDs being very high texture memory usage. And those things actually can slow you down. They can actually cause your viewer to not render textures as well. And so it's never really a good idea to leave all of those mesh body HUDs and mesh head HUDs attached all the time. But we still want to get to them quickly. So what I've done in my RLV folder, but really this can be anywhere in your inventory, it doesn't really matter, is I've created this folder called Fast Access. And underneath it, I've created a bunch of different additional folders, but I have one here called standard. And inside of this standard folders, I've placed links to the HUDs that I most commonly use. So I've got my Catwa head HUDs in there. I've got my Matreya mesh body HUD. I've got my what she's wearing fashion spy HUD. And I've got the brand new skylight HUD. Uh, that helps you kind of manage your wind light preferences. I'm gonna be doing a video on that really soon as well. So I've got this folder in my inventory and it's filled with these HUDs that I want to be able to quickly access. Now I could go into my inventory to get to these, that'd be fine. Uh, but what Quick, Quick Preferences lets us do is actually get to this folder and see all of those things and access them in this one sort of convenient window without ever having to dig through inventory. So let me set that up. So I'm in here right now, I've got a couple of buttons. I've got a search box on the right. I've got this menu button on the left, which lets me sort things by name or most recent edition. But the most important thing is right here in the middle. And this button here lets me choose what folder I want displayed in this Quick Preferences Quick Inventory box. So I'm gonna choose my standard folder and click Select. And now what I see here is exactly what I see here in my inventory. Pretty simple, right? I can close this down, and now if I want to add my Matreya Mesh Body HUD, I can just right-click there and I can add it. And there it comes. Don't want it anymore? I can just right-click here and detach it. Same thing holds true for my animation HUD for my Mesh Head. Right-click here and add it. It'll add it in. If I don't want it anymore, right-click and detach it. And that's what this feature does. Now let me go back really quick. I actually set this up for another purpose as well. I call it my fast access event outfit. Sometimes you're going to events and you want something that you can like really quickly change in and out of. 
and maybe you're doing demos so you want to be able to quickly take things on and off without digging through your inventory or creating a separate saved outfit for it. Another great use for quick inventory. I can put the four items that I need for that outfit right here and then I can add them and remove them from my avatar as I need to while I'm demoing and trying things out at events. Um, role playing, um, combat, all sorts of things have a use here. Anything you want to put together, things that you need to add and subtract from your body very quickly that you don't all necessarily have in one place to begin with, that's what Quick Inventory is for. So that's one new feature, Quick Inventory. It's available now in Catsnip R12, so you can go ahead and download that. I'll make sure to include a link in the video description for how to download the latest Catsnip. And like I said, keep an eye on my channel. I'll be going through a lot of the new features of the Catsnip Viewer over the next coming days. So you can uh, see what they look like and try them out and hopefully uh, get a chance to try them yourselves inside of Catsnip. Until next time, thanks for watching.